Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we'll be going over what to do with this stone pillar in Remnant from the Ashes, the Swamps of Corsus DLC. Let's get started. Alright, so you will have to find the Iskal Temple Dungeon, which you might have to reroll your adventure a few times. I think it took me five or six before I finally got here. The Iskal Sanctum. Um, once you get inside, there is the Queen of the Elves here. Speak with her and she will give you the Cryptolith Sigil which is the item that you need to interact with the tower. Uh, you can fight her if you wish. Just know that she is very strong. Probably the strongest enemy that I've faced in the game. Um, took us probably, <laughs> honestly, took us about 15 times to finally beat her, but we did. Once you have the sigil, you can then interact with the stone pillar. Uh, it will give you a trait, uh, a concentration or something like that. Increases how much damage your mods do, I believe. Um, from there, you need to then put the key back into it two more times. Unfortunately, you can only do it once per run, but we were able to use the same key twice. So basically, we used the key to get the first mod, reloaded, got the tower again, used the key again to get the second part, and then we ran into the queen a uh, second time, and she gave us the second key, and we were able to unlock the third part of the t uh, of the pillar, which opens up a little uh, a little circle nearby. And once you go inside, you will get some armor. Uh, you do have to find it. It is here. Basically, you're warped to what is similar to the labyrinth. Some stones will appear from most areas, but on the right side here, you have to take a leap of faith down to this one. And this is where the helmet is. This is the most difficult piece to get. The rest of it you can get just by walking around the area. And uh, yeah, I, the whole set itself will increase how much your mods do damage-wise. So yeah, if you you know if you're interested in that, that's what you got. Um, all right, so that's it. That's what you do with the tower. That's where you get the items for the tower and all that business. You're probably going to have to reload a few times. It's just how this game works. Start an adventure in Corsus and then uh, re reload another adventure in Corsus. All right, that'll do it for me. If you liked what you saw, got what you needed, you know how it goes. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.